Yo guys, how are you? This is Quaro Gatus and welcome to another vlog. Welcome to another video guys. I just want to compare the FK irons to my Bishop 1. Bishop 1 and FK irons, I did a comparison before but it's in Filipino language. There's a lot of guys in the comment section who wants to request for an English version. So I will be comparing the Bishop 1 to the FK irons Flux Max. Guys, I sold the flux box just because of the grip. When I was trying the Bishop one, it was really very comfortable on my hand because I have a small hand. I like the form factor because it's really, really small and super light. That's the reason why I sold my flux box. The only problem with the one is the battery. I think Bishop did a mistake on the partnership with the Critical because I think Critical is not a good product. It's been like less than a year that I'm using the one and this critical battery pack, the shorty, is not working anymore. I mean, it still works, but it lasts for only one hour. The bigger battery, it lasts for two hours. Now, I'm back using the RCA. So now, I'm a bit very regretful of selling my Flux Max. Now, I want to buy another one, another, another one. Uh, Flux Max because I still have this Flux, the old Flux. I guess I'll be using this grip because I'm not really comfortable with the Flux Max grip. So I'll be using old one, the first Flux. I'll be using that grip on the Flux Max if I will buy another Flux Max. That's the thing that happened to me. Even though Bishop Power One is really, really a good machine, but the battery is the problem. That's the biggest run that I can say about Bishop One. And I really don't like this this bump. The bump here, it makes a difference also. It has a weight, of course. If you're doing like this, you can feel that there's a weight pulling to that side also. I think this is not a good idea. Although it helps, it's like it serves as an anti-roll because it's not rolling your table. I think that's the only problem with this, the battery. I regret selling my Flux Max because the Flux Max is nearly perfect. I just really don't like the size of the grip. That's the only main reason that I sold the Flux Max. But I think I'll be buying another Flux Max. There's a lot of issue on social media, also in YouTube. I watched one of the tattoo artists, vlogger. The Flux Max is not really safe. For me, it's safe if you know how to sanitize it. It's safe if you know how to use the proper equipment, the proper concentration of chemical that will sanitize the machine. The only problem with the Flux Max is the price. <laughs> I think it's an overpriced tattoo machine for me because I saw the replicas, the China ones, which is like $100. 100 US dollar compared to the price of a Flux Max is like $1,300. So you can buy like 13 pairs, uh, 13 China machines. I saw the China machines, I tried holding it. It's really a good machine also. It served the same purpose. Yes, it's really cheap. It's safe also because you can remove all the parts of the machine and you can auto clean, you can sanitize every part of the machine, which is not possible in Flux Max. Although the Flux Max is really more expensive. That's my comparison. The Flux Max is a bit expensive. 1,300 to 1,400. It has a give. You have a versatility of using the e-give. Actually, I tried using the e-give. I think it's not for me because I've been using direct drives for like more than five years of my career. I prefer the hard heating tattoo machines like the Packer and the flux max without the e-give. I'm not using the e-give. But the problem in the first flux, the max stroke is only 4 millimeter. When I try the flux max, I really want that 4.5 because I can do color packing, solid outlines, and I can do also black and gray. Basically, the flux max is more versatile than the bishop one. Yes, you can also use it for outlines, especially for fine lines. It's perfect for fine lines. You can use it for black and gray and colors also. But there's no e-give and the battery sucks. Critical battery sucks. It's not reliable. After a few months of using the machine, the battery is like dying. The shorty one, they marketed as three to five hours running time. But now it's not even reaching one hour, even the big one. And if you buy a separate battery for the Bishop, it's really expensive also. It's like around $300. What the fuck? so expensive and one more comment one more run for the bishop if you're going to buy the power one the two machine you will get the short battery and the big battery i think they made the wrong decision on this because if you're using the big battery it's heavy of course and then suddenly in the middle of a session you run out of battery and you change it to small one bro 
the feeling is totally different. It's kind of very annoying. From heavy tattoo machine, by changing the battery, it's a different feel already for me. That's only my own opinion. Everything here in my video is my own opinion. I'm not sponsored of any product. I'm sponsored of myself. Bro, I can say whatever I want in this channel at least. That's it. The Flux wins. So, I just want to say sorry to my subscribers, guys. I've been super busy for the past few months. I'm not putting up some tattoo-related videos that much in my channel. That's why I changed my channel name to just Quaro. Because I want to vlog also. I want to vlog my lifestyle events, my journey as a tattoo artist, my journey as a musician also. I'm playing a guitar in a metal band. I just want to put up those memories in my YouTube so I can play it after how many years. I can show it to my grandson, daughter in the future. So, just bear with me. I think I'll be posting videos regarding tattoo equipments and I'll be reviewing more uh, tattoo products for the channel and for you, my subscribers. So, that's it guys. This is Quaro Tattoos. See you on the next video. Appear!